So, Valentine's Day. And either the postman is weighed down with all the cards and flowers for me, or for the mm -mm, year in a row, niente, zelch, nothing. Now, I don't know if it's because, yes, I've put on a wee bit of weight, perchance it do. No, but then that would just be like shallow, wouldn't it? People don't, wouldn't just love you whether you're thick or thin, surely. Maybe that's why I've got no significant other in my life. So anyway, this is like starting to be like a meh video. But actually, I was thinking, that's a fib. I do have a significant other in my life. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I know at this point you're like, what is she talking about? But seriously. Jesus said that he's come that we might have life, life abundantly. It's kind of like, I don't think he was talking just to the disciples 2000 years ago. My experience since I became a Christian is that Jesus actually is alive in me. Mm -hmm. Here I'm saying more stuff that makes you go, what? But it's true. Ever since I've accepted that he's real, that he's the son of God, that he died on the cross for me, I actually have this love for him that's so, like I just know he's real. And another thing that it does is it gives me a love for other people. Mm -hmm. Just like people that I don't even really know that well, God can bring them into my life and just give me an instant love for them. And so all this like, schmaltzy February the 14th commercialized nem -ne. and obviously I'm saying nem -ne because I didn't get anything but all of this stuff on February the 14th I, I love it actually let's celebrate love love is great the Bible says God is love so in actual fact we should be celebrating God then and Christian brothers and sisters the Bible says and I can't quote that much. That's as good as I got with the God is love. So I'll bring up my Bible for this part. The Bible says, this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Dear children, let us not love with words or tongues, but with actions and in truth. This then is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. <laughs> I actually really love that. <clears throat> if people say to you that Christianity's dead and it's all about rules. It's actually not. It's actually really clear that you can't say that you're a Christian and love God if you don't help your brother or sister in need. And the way that people are gonna know that I love Jesus is by how I love them, by how I love you. So, I'm saying, all right, at this moment in time, I don't have any of the in love stuff, in in an earthly relationship um, and I would love to have a husband um, call this number no I I would like to have that but nothing nothing could surpass the love I have for Jesus and better still the love he has for me and that is what I need to share I want to share I actually want to turn into one of these like crazy Christians that I don't know stands up in buses and proclaims Jesus Christ is Lord I don't know why I put on that voice or like if I could swing from the trees telling everybody Jesus loves them because it's the truth. Do you see what my friend, the cameraman did? He showed you the trees. <laughs> this guy is on it. And that's another thing. My friend has come down and he's behind the camera and he's freezing and he was a little bit like, Lorna, why do you want to do it now? Why do you want to do it? Do, do? But in actual fact, that's what love is. Him giving up his afternoon to come and film this. So I've been rambling on. This is a, lady with walker in cold rambling but i really just want to say if you didn't get up to the flowers and hearts and tweety little birdies today know that god loves you 
And if you do know that, and if you love God, then let other people see it by loving them. I don't know, some of us don't have money, so we can pray for people. Some of us have money, so we can buy food and clothes. Some of us have loads of time in our hands and we can go off to a foreign land and share the gospel. Some of us don't have as much time to spare. We could be telling our neighbors here. We just gotta be loving. Love, 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 love. Do you know what? All the, all the card companies and the chocolate companies, they don't own love. It's not about manufactured anything. It's about the real deep love of God. And it's a love he has for you and it's a love he has for me. So what am I saying? Are chocolate hearts evil? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Do you know whether you've got up today and the love of your life is taking you out for a fantastic day and it's all hearts and flowers or whether you got up today and you're just on your own and there's nobody or everything in between, it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is there is a love that's far greater than anything that we mere mortal can give you. And, and don't get me wrong, I love the in love stuff and I, and, and I think it's great. But what really gets me is thinking that God love does love me, who's so totally not worth it. God loved me so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross so that us little people, us human beings could be reunited with him. Not only that, Jesus actually said yes. He said, all right. Well, actually what he said was, Oof, you know, if there's any way I don't need to, take it away from me, but let your will be done. And I think that means to me, those words mean so much more. The time that Jesus, when he was, every part of his human body was crying out for help, for not to be crucified and yet, he thought about us. Imagine that love, imagine that love of Jesus in the agony, but thinking of you and saying, do you know not what I want, but let your will be done because I love you. Oh, I've got goosebumps. That's love, that's real love. And if you know that love, share it, give it away, let it go. Oh, I love love, I love love. love. Go to Cheers. Off for chocolate.